Hello, and welcome to the training course configuring SAM L and Okta. In this module, you will first learn how to integrate SAM L, or Security Assertion Markup Language, in Okta, which is an enterprise grade identity management service. You will also learn how to integrate MySonicWall.com, MSW, with Okta for authentication and then validate the integration. Let's begin with an introduction to SAM L. A Security Assertion Markup Language, or SAML, is a standardized way to authenticate users to external applications and services. SAML Single Sign-On (SSO) allows you to log in to multiple web applications after logging into the identity provider. You can log into your corporate intranet and then access numerous additional services, such as Salesforce, Box, etc., without having to re-enter your credentials. A typical SAM LSSO authentication process involves three parties. User or the user who is trying to access a cloud-hosted application. Identity provider, IDP, such as Okta, which stores and authenticates user identity, typically through the login process. Okta is an enterprise-grade, identity management service, built for the cloud, but compatible with many on-premises applications. With Okta, you can manage your employee access to any application or device. Service provider, such as the cloud-hosted application, or service such as Gmail, MS Office 365, Google Drive, AWS, Slack, Skype, etc. This is what a typical flow might look like. Ordinarily, a user would just log into these services directly, but when SSO is used, the user logs into the SSO instead, and SAML is used to give them access instead of a direct login. The principal makes a request of the service provider. The service provider then requests authentication from the identity provider. The identity provider sends a SAML assertion to the service provider, and the service provider can then send a response to the principal. Now, let's begin configuring the SAML application in Okta. To begin, you access the Okta site and log into your account. Note that users trying to set up IDP authentication must have an existing Okta account. In this demonstration, sample user account credentials have been entered for you. Click Next. You are prompted to select an authentication method. In this tutorial, we will choose the password security method. The dashboard of the Okta console is displayed on the screen. In Okta, SAML is listed as a sign-in method under the Applications menu. On the left menu panel, click Applications. In the drop-down menu, click Applications. To select and integrate SAML with Okta, click the option Create App Integration. The Create a New App Integration window displays. Select SAM L2.0 as the sign-in method. Click Next. The Create SAM L integration page displays. The process involves configuring settings under three tabs, General Settings, Configure SAM L, and Feedback. In the first step, under App Name, you will enter a unique name for the app. A sample app name has been entered for you. Click Next. For the second step, we will need the single sign-on URL and the service provider metadata URL. To get the single sign-on URL and the service provider metadata URL for MSW, we will need to log in to www.mysonicwall.com. The login screen of Mysonic Wall is displayed on the screen, and sample login credentials have been entered for you. Click Login. The dashboard of My Sonic Wall is displayed. Click the user icon in the top right corner of the page. In the drop down menu, click Demo User. The My Account Settings page displays. Under Additional Options, click the Use External Identity Provider toggle button to enable this setting. The Add External Identity Provider window displays. 
To choose the IDP organization, click the Okta tile. Under the section How to set up in Okta, click the Setup Configuration Here link. The My Sonic Wall Application Configuration Information window displays. We will copy the SAM L redirect URL, as well as the service provider metadata URL from this window and close it. We then navigate back to Okta, create SAM L integration page, and enter the single sign on URL that we just copied. The single sign on URL has been copied for you in this tutorial. Next, we will enter the audience URI, SP Entity ID. The audience URI, SP Entity ID, has been entered for you. The page has been scrolled down for you. Next, click the Name ID Format drop-down menu. To define the Name ID Format, select Email Address from the drop-down menu. The page has been scrolled down for you. Click Next. The last step is Feedback which provides Okta support with background information about your app. Select the I'm an Okta customer option. An optional feedback section opens up, which you can fill out to provide the relevant details. The page has been scrolled down for you. Click Finish. The Applications, MSW SAM L, Sign On, Settings page of the Okta dashboard is displayed on the screen. The screen has been scrolled down for you. Click the link View SAM L Setup Instructions. The screen displays the certificate settings for your reference. You can also download the certificate. In order to add a new user, click Directory on the left menu panel. Click People. Click Add Person. We will first add the first and last names of the user along with the login username. The information has been added for you, along with a sample email ID. Note that the primary email auto-populates with the same email as the username. The user's email address is the login username. Enable the option I will set password. A sample password has been entered for you. Next, to prevent the user from changing the password, Click the checkbox to disable the option user must change the password on first login. Click Save. Notice that the newly added username displays in the user list. Next, we will assign the new user access to the application that we created earlier. Click Applications on the left menu panel. Click Applications. Click the newly created SAM L app. Click Assign drop-down menu. Select Assign to People. Click Assign for the new user, demo user, that was created. Click Save and go back. Notice that the MSW SAM L app status now reflects Assign to the particular user. Click Done. The demo user has been successfully assigned to the MSW SAM L app. Let's now configure MySonicWall.com to set up Okta as the external identity provider. To begin, navigate to the MSW, IDP, Okta setup page. To set up IDP and MSW, you will need the Okta metadata URL, or manually enter the SSO URL and X509 certificate in the respective fields. There are two methods to set up Okta as the external identity provider in MSW, either by using the metadata URL or through manual configuration. To generate the metadata URL, first, copy the domain name and app ID from identity provider single sign on URL. Then, replace the variables in the metadata URL, as shown on the screen. Finally, enter or paste the generated metadata URL in my Sonic Wall application to set up Okta. The second method, which involves manual configuration, can be done in the following way. 
Copy the identity provider single sign-on URL and X.509 certificate, respectively. Enter the copied information in my Sonic Wall application to set up Okta as the external identity provider. If the user chose the first method of entering the metadata URL, the SSO URL and X509 certificate is auto-populated. If the user chose the second method he has to manually enter the SSO URL and X509 certificate into the respective fields. You then enter the URL and X509 certificate information into the respective fields of the MSW Okta SAM L setup window to complete the setup. Click connect and save. A successful confirmation message displays on the screen. Click the logged in username at the top right corner of the window. You then log out to exit from the account. In this section, we will test if the IDP setup for MSW login is working as expected. Navigate to www.mysonicwall.com The username for the newly created user, demo user, for whom IDP is set up on MSW have been entered for you. Click Next. You will be redirected to Okta page for authentication. The username has been entered for you. Click Next. Next, we select a security method. In this tutorial, we will select Enter a code. Enter the code from the Okta 2FA app and click Verify. Note that Okta Verify app has to be installed by the user to get the code. We are now successfully logged into MSW. This brings us to the end of this training module. IDP, or Identity Provider, is an organization that offers user authentication as a service, and stores and manages digital identities. Okta is an enterprise-grade, identity management service, built for the cloud, but compatible with many on-premises applications. With Okta, IT can manage any employee's access to any application or device. Security Assertion Markup Language SAML, is an open standard for exchanging authentication and authorization data between an identity provider and a service provider. SAML Single Sign-On SSO, allows you to log in to multiple web applications after logging into the identity provider. You can set up mysonicwall.com to use Okta as the external identity provider.